I'm Sawyer. I'm Chelsea. This is our 2001 International Converted School Bus. This is the original door from the bus. We use rivets and metal screws and just some metal bars to hold it as a one instead of a bifold door. Uh, it definitely works out well. When it's windy, you definitely have to hold on to it because it's going to blow away, but I feel like that's for everything. Uh, it's a no shoes bus, so shoes must come off. And then this is the front dash. This is definitely one of our favorite parts. Um, we got this in one of our adventures and we just have some miscellaneous art and anything that makes it feel more homey. Uh, we built all of this out, all of this new dashboard. Definitely is one of our favorite parts. I think a lot of people shout out the, the front dashboard area the most. Uh, the woodwork is just so awesome. And that's a shout out to my dad for definitely hooking that up. Uh, we have our truck Garmin because we don't want to run over any bridges or definitely helps to have that too. So I would recommend having that if you are looking to do this as a adventure. So right at the front door we have this shoe cabinet that we added so the shoes don't pile up on the front rug but they tend to do that anyway. But it is a nice place for our shoes. And then headed into the living area, we have our nice big couch. It pulls out to a bed and we had two friends sleep over and they said it was so comfortable. So we're very happy with that. We have our three large drawers underneath. We have extra bags, some dog stuff, some books. We got blankets, electronics, and they all lock with these window locks and they work awesome. And then into the dining area, we got this table custom made from Hartnett Homefront. Um, she did a wonderful job with it. I'm so happy with how it came out and I think it makes the whole space look really beautiful. We ha we made these um, cushions with two inch foam and we wrapped it in this fabric that we picked out, stapled it, and they're so comfortable. They look so beautiful. We're very happy with how they turned out. Of course, we got our plants in here. Gotta have a little extra space because we love our greenery. divide up our space we we found this actually on the side of the road it was an old wine cart in someone's house uh, cut it up and painted it black and it definitely adds the the, the division that I feel like the space needs um, we have all LED lights that are in the ceilings uh, they're very bright you wouldn't be able to tell right now because it's daytime but they definitely give a good amount of light off um, the ceiling is another thing that people always jump to the ceiling took forever, it took absolutely forever. It definitely was worth it though. It still smells like pine in here. We still have that wood smell, which is awesome. Uh, all the curves and the tongue and groove. A lot of work, worth it, absolutely worth it. Then we added the skylights. These are right off of the emergency hatches that we had. Um, we just cut the hole bigger to fit into the ribs of the bus. And then um, we put the plexiglass in. We this is our first time, so it's all DIY, like I said. We have some cracks and some not pretty stuff, but hey, it's all part of the journey. Coming off the dining area, like she said and she mentioned before, we are obsessed with plants. So as many green plants as we can fit in here is all of the plants we can get. We actually got this Venus flytrap. It's not looking that hot right now because it's winter, but um, catches all the bugs in here surprisingly, which is pretty cool to see. Uh, over here we have our nice reused uh, butcher countertop. Uh, we used this with all the leftover wood that we had from the projects of the bus. The whole conversion, stained it, food safety, I think it turned out really well. And then it holds our oven. Our oven is amazing. It's a three burner oven combo. All runs on propane. Um, definitely has enough room and of what we need like we can't cook like a turkey or some crazy in there but definitely what we need to cook we can cook and the tops are awesome I love this little glass thing that comes down for protection of all of it and easy to clean when we come over here to our brick veneer uh, this definitely catches a lot of people's eyes when they walk into the bus uh, like I said it's veneer so it's a, like a sliced brick it's not the full brick so it's a lot less heavy um, but it also is heat resistant which is what we really needed because we have this wood stove right here. It's called a cubic mini. I think you've probably heard of it before. It does its job. It's a wood stove. It heats us up when it gets cold. 
Um, we've used it a couple times, it definitely works pretty well. I mean, I think it heats mainly this whole area up here. This fan 100% helps. I don't know how it works, but it heats it up, and then this spins. I, I don't really understand, but it is what it is. We have some more heat CP we have back here, and some more brick on the bottom. We come down here, we have our dog's dishes. It's layered, so she comes over here, he comes over here. Teak and Nala, that's the two areas for them. And then we just store their food right under here in little bins. Works for us. Definitely would recommend. It's easy, simple, it's whatever. You can probably see all the rocks that we have around here. We definitely have a rock obsession. We, we collect rocks probably everywhere we go. We go to a lot of beaches and bays and rock places. So we definitely collect all the rocks we can. Over here we have the kitchen area. More butcher block. This is one by ones actually. We bought this, stained it, cleaned it. Awesome, looks great. Definitely love how it came out. It's not, all, it's not awful to clean, so love this. Then we have the live edge shelf up here. Um, I think this one definitely could have used some more thinking. We um, can really only put stuff up there when it's not moving, which is not the ideal, but we're definitely working on something to put there. Um, we have our sink. I love this sink. It's a farmhouse styled sink. We have a nice uh, sprayer on it and sink head. I think it's a bathroom sink actually, but it definitely fits all of our dishes and does the job that we need to do. And then we moved one of our emergency exits to right behind the sink and then the door opens and then we have a little wooden thing that like can hold the window open, which is awesome. And then this is our little uh, cabinet, upper cabinet, and then all of our ca uh, cabinets have this uh, like uh, vent screen, I would say, on the front of them. So definitely gives it a little bit more pizzazz when you're looking at it which is awesome because it looks really good and we have a whole magic chef's freezer fridge combo this uh, definitely takes up a bunch of our power but I couldn't not have a smaller fridge I think this is the limit of the size that we would be able to do because like I said we store so much food we can food shop every like two weeks which is ideal for our living wanted to mention this beautiful painting that my cousin Anag made for us of Tikanala. We just love it so much. We think it looks exactly like them. We just hung it up, so we're hoping it stays. Um, and then onto the fridge, when we're driving, we just secure it with this little bungee. You know, it's not much, but it does it. Um, and then we have this pantry, which we're looking to get a new one because it's very wobbly. It gets stuck and... We're looking for something with wheels, we think, but it holds a ton of food. We have some extra storage up here. We have more up here, our spices and all that stuff. So we're, we have plenty of storage in this bus. Um, and then coming down the hall in our closet, this is our large closet, mostly my clothes, but we're able to fit everything. We love these because these come out and we're able to pop it up on the bed or the table whenever we're doing laundry or whatever. Um, we have some vacuum seal bags behind so we can have our seasonal stuff, so that definitely helps. This is bigger than my closet from home, so very happy with it. And then this closet is just some products, you know, skincare, towels, all that. This was a little bit of a last minute addition, but it saved us. And then into our utility closet where we keep our broom, vacuums, mop, batteries, all that water heater which we're not very happy with we'll probably be getting a new one soon come down the hall we have our bathroom here we have our nature's head compost toilet we're loving it so far we've had it for about two months and we've had to change it once and it didn't smell it still doesn't smell we did forget to wire in the beginning so that's our um fan plug but it works great we love this mirror because it has like this extra storage and just extra decor and then our barn door that we built, which we never use because it's just us two, so only when we have people over, which is almost never, but we love the door. And then it hooks over here when we're driving. With We use a bunch of eye and hook latches, so that's pretty much how we keep everything closed and secure while we move. Over to this side, we have our shower. 
Um, we have our shower curtain that we made ourselves, just like the rest of the curtains in the bus. We're happy with how they all turned out. We love our shower, but we didn't clean the grout off quick enough, so there's a bit of a residue, but that's okay. It's all a DIY project, and it's all a learning process, so it is what it is. Our plant seems to love it, so that's a good thing. We added this rainbow window film, so a rainbow light catches light, and it shines all throughout this area, and it looks so beautiful, so we love that. And then into the bedroom, we have our queen size bed from home. We got new bedding and it's so comfortable, it's perfect. Um, up there, we talked about a mini split AC unit, but we'll see about that. It's just extra shelf space and storage. Um, and then we have this little nightstand that we found at Ikea, it was a perfect fit. And then like you mentioned before, our emergency exit window that we put behind the bed. It's awesome, we get such a nice breeze throughout the night and the dogs love it. Nala sleeps up on the pillow and catches the breeze. Under the bed here we have the dog area. We got Teek's bed and Nala's bed and they both seem to love it. Over here we have some extra storage and that's where we keep extra toiletries, camping stuff, you know, things like that. Um, the back side is actually our garage is what we call it. closet in here. Um, the whole bus is run on solar panels. We have four 100 watt panels on the roof uh, and then they go into two 206 amp hour batteries that are uh, lithium actually. I would definitely recommend getting the lithium. I think the lithium would last longer through the years. You don't have to replace it and they're just better batteries. Worth the money to spend it. Um, and then that also goes into a 3000 watt inverter that goes to our fridge and our outlets and all of the things that you see the outlets would use. Um, some more electronical stuff we have in here. We have the fan, which is a three speed, pulls air out. So all the hot air that rises gets just sucked right back up. Um, definitely helps with the heat. I would, I would recommend getting one that blows down as well, but we didn't, so that's what we have. Uh, I mentioned before about the LED lights. They're all um, inset in the ceiling. Um, and then they're all just controlled by these little RV light switches on the side. We were thinking about getting a dimmer. I would get a dimmer. Definitely super bright when you're like trying to like relax and watch something, but they work really well. They light this space up awesome. And then we have just a little, I don't even know what size it is, just inch TV. Definitely a little guy has a Roku box on it and it gets our job done when we get our fix of scrubs or the office <laughs> that we need to watch. People always tell us that they love the color of the bus and we're very happy with it too. So it's actually a um, industrial paint from Sherwin-Williams and we were able to choose any color we wanted. So we're very happy with how it turned out. It's exactly like we pictured. Um, we spray painted it on and it looks great. Uh, the top is Henry's Tropical. We went with the tan color instead of the white and we thought it would look nicer with the orange and we're very happy with that as well. Um, and then this is our under storage cabinet that we built and put it up there and we built the door for the outside and it holds our extra dog food, beach chairs, propane tanks, all that good stuff and it's so much storage. And then this actually flips up to a table and we're able to use it if we're cooking outdoors or doing anything like that. So it's a 2001 International School Bus. It has a diesel engine. We bought it for $3,600 off a, an auction website, which is awesome, awesome deal. Uh, we got the biggest one you can get. It's a 72 passenger. Uh, we definitely wanted the more space for the dogs and just living. Uh, couldn't really do the cramped areas, so we went with the bigger bus. The back of the bus is our bike. Um, our bike has definitely seen better days. Uh, she fell off the back of the bus on some adventure we were on and definitely smacked the ground a little bit too hard and the chain fell off and the seats all messed up. Basically just sitting back here and collecting the, the dust from the pipe that comes out. Uh, this is our little sticker, a little sticker window, I guess. Definitely coming along. All the places we've been, all the, all the, all the people we're shouting out. And then it comes off the trunk. This opens like a normal school bus trunk. And we have a bunch of miscellaneous stuff in there, like just garage stuff that you would imagine that's in a school bus garage. And this is one of my favorite things. 
is our lock system back here. This big bar comes down and this closes behind the door. And then this is just a simple twist. And then that is locked. No one's getting in or out of that from the outside or the inside. So definitely love that. Just got it from like Home Depot or Harbor Freight or some retail place. I'm not really remembering. Um, so we come over here and we actually have a little outside shower, which we love. We use it for the dogs probably all the time. Just comes up here and then it connects this little white thing that we added and yeah that's for us but then we can use it for the dogs and the paws and it definitely helps for their, their paws on sandy days or beach days um so we're at a campground right now obviously so all of the stuff is plugged in and connected we don't have a 50 amp plug in we only have a 20 amp just like a regular outlet that goes in there and it has the charger on the battery uh didn't want to mess with the 50 amp because we are not educated in that amount of power and we didn't want to get shocked or die so yep that's why we didn't do that just stuck to the 20 volt come over here and we have our city water and our water tank fill up so this one's our city this is our water tank and if you take a look under here we have 75 gallons of fresh water in these two tanks and then if you look down here we have a little 10 gallon tank for our gray water which is just like our sink and basically just our sink would recommend getting more than a 10 gallon though because it definitely fills up fast and we're probably dumping it at places a lot more frequently because it's just a 10 gallon we're both from brick new jersey um we bought the bus about four years ago the summer after we graduated high school and now we're about three months living into it and we're loving the journey so far yeah we spent about thirty six hundred dollars to buy the bus we bought it on a government auction website. Um, so they just raffle things off and you have to put bids on them. We got in a bidding war. We did. So we we could have got, got it for cheaper. We could have got it for more, but I think the price we got was really good because it only, it allowed us to spend probably about 15K on the whole renovation in total. Um, so that's like with batteries, the solar system, the flooring, all, all of that stuff. So definitely a good price. Um, left us at a good place for our savings to do this road trip that we're uh, traveling out to Oregon and we're moving from New Jersey like she said to Oregon um, so we're definitely excited about getting there but the exciting part is the journey always so that's what we're going through right now what we love about this lifestyle so far is like we, we love being off-grid and not having to pay utility bills or water bills or rent or gas is our rent that's all yeah. we got and we plan to live more off-grid in the future and more sustainably so this is a good start for us to get there and hopefully we'll be living in it for a few years until we're ready for something bigger so i came to chelsea with this idea we started dating the beginning of senior year and bought it at the end of the senior year so i convinced her in that little span of time i could only imagine it was easy to convince me <laughs> um i saw it when i was little on i forget what channel but he converted it and then he had vegetable oil run it for he went to like mcdonald's to mcdonald's getting their vegetable oil and i thought that was like the coolest thing ever we didn't do that part we could do it but it's probably a ridiculous amount of work but that definitely drew me to seeing that it's possible to do it so it may look all beautiful and finished now but this was just a regular school bus with all the seats in all the metal everywhere mm. And, um, you know, the building process was definitely a big one. Mm -hmm. We definitely underestimated it a little bit. Um, we would have never been able to do it without his dad because it was just us two and Jamie. Um, and the tools is also a big thing that contributes to the build. You yeah, know, you it's all about your tools. You need to have all the tools you can get because renting them is it's possible, but it's not as efficient as, oh, here's this tool. Now I can use it this whole week instead of having to worry about the return date or whatever. Um, definitely get organized before getting started. Mm -hmm. Definitely pre-plan, um, you know, where you want outlets and toilets and, you know, all that so you can pre-wire and definitely think about water because water is our biggest enemy. There is water damage all around our skylight because you know, it sneaks in. It can get in anywhere. There's so in the much windows. flex tape and 
yes. <laughs> goop up there that it's insane that it still gets in, but it does, so. Um, but this, this whole build has been super rewarding. We've learned so much about each other and ourselves and, you know, just the work that goes into something like this. And it's just so rewarding that we're able to live this lifestyle finally after dreaming about it for so long. And uh, we hope to encourage others to just go for it. You know, so many people have come up to us and was like, oh, I want to get a bus or I want to get a van. And, do you know, it. we always just say, just do it. You know, mm -hmm. once you have it, you can... Take the time to work on it. Um, it's going to be a lot of work, but it is so rewarding for yourself and, you know, just... For future selves, too, yeah. you know? It's like, you can live forever. It's it's always going to be an RV that we have at our dis or schoolie, should I say, at our, dis at, our, at our disposal. You know, we can stop, we can go, we can take off for a year, we can literally drive off for a year. It, it does not matter, so it's definitely worth the investment and the time to take to do it. We also are addicted to traveling now, so you know our travel itch is yes, has not being grown. scratched fully. Mm -hmm. um, so hopefully there will be more projects in the future because we are 40 feet, so parking situations, driving, certain roads, all that. So you know, hopefully we'll get a van one day and maybe come back to certain places, but. Definitely, this dreams. is this is our this is our schooly trip. We definitely plan on doing other trips with a van, or I want to do another UPS truck, or there's there's a lot of stuff that we have planned. So yes, definitely excited, and definitely love the lifestyle. Obviously, if we're just keep wanting to do it over and over again, so the road is definitely our new our new home. We're enjoying it a lot, and so are the dogs. Yes, they're they're loving all the adventures. Um, so thanks again for watching our schoolie tour. We hope you enjoyed it. Um, check us out on Instagram, The Traveler Bus. We hope to see you guys out on the road. Or yeah, if you, if you ever... have any questions, always feel free to message us. We're very happy to answer and help.